barking up the wrong tree for years. And now you find me. Hello and welcome everyone. It's been Rock39. I obviously did something different with this video. I put the gameplay in front of the the description of the build and all that good stuff. I thought it might help uh, draw you in, <laughs> first off. And then secondly, I, I get long-winded because I'm trying to do so much explaining. So I figured with that, I won't have to explain as much. You'll see the build doing its thing. And then you want to come in, see this quick little 5-10 minute video is what I'm trying to do with the description. So bear in mind, I'm going to do this as quick as possible. Uh, I did make this build with no DLC. Uh, but I do have a DLC build. It's usually the same setup. You just have more gun mods. But uh, that video was actually shot with this setup here. And I'm using an Isma 12 gauge shotgun with no mods. No gun mods whatsoever. I'm not kidding. No gun mods. It's the way it comes from the factory. Right out of the box. Look at all these. No ammunition. No barrel. Nothing. So. If you thought that this gun was garbage without any gun mods. I can say. You're, you're obviously mistaken. Uh, the secondary was the judge with Dragon's Breath rounds. And that's DLC. If you players aren't going to use DLC or can't use DLC, you can use the HE rounds. Okay, that would be a nice comp comparable substitute for the Dragon's Breath in my opinion. But you can use any of these. I, I haven't used Flesh yet. I used to use them, but uh, just doesn't... It's not worth it to me. I'd use Armor Piercing rounds before I'd use Flesh yet. Alright, now... Uh, Melee is the buzzer. I'm just trying to keep everything as concealable as possible with this build because the East mod not being modded is kind of high in detection risk or very low in concealment and you want a high concealment number. So you kind of have to work the build. I, I am using the Crook perk deck, by the way. That wasn't grinder, that was Crook, if you didn't notice already. Um, here's the build. I'll just go straight to it. Mastermind, I'm taking Combat Medic. Quick fix and uppers. All basic. Controller, I'm taking Force Friendship. I'm acing Confident. I'm taking Basic Joker. And then I'm acing Partners in Crime. As well as Hostage Taker. Makes the build really good when you're talking about dealing with crowds and taking damage, actually. Um, here in Enforcer, Shotgunner. I'm taking Underdog Basic. Shotgun CQB. I'm taking Shotgun Impact Basic. It's plenty of damage coming out of his shotgun. You don't need to ace this skill, in my opinion. Uh, close by aced for the extra 15 shots in the magazine for that shotgun. And I'm using overkill basic. For tank, I'm taking basic resilience. When flashbangs go off, you can actually just squat, stay still. As long as you're not in death sentence, you'll be fine. <laughs> um, just don't move the controller at all. And usually, I survive them. So I stopped using the three points used it in various other places now the crook perk deck utilizes a combination of ballistic vests and dodge if you're wearing a ballistic vest you're gonna have more dodge with the crook perk deck than you would without wearing a ballistic vest of any kind so or I like to say natural dodge the dodge that you get when you max out the perk deck and uh, you don't use any other skills to get more dodge like sneaky bastard 
All right, acing die hard here though increases the armor value of your ballistic vest, and with the crook perk deck, it's it's incredible the amount of armor you can get out of that lightweight ballistic vest. Now here at Bullseye, I'm acing that one simply for uh, regen on my armor. If you get a headshot, can only happen one once every two seconds, but it's still giving you armor back, and it kind of protects your health. Iron Man Basic. Coupled with Die Hard Ace, this is giving your 80 point value lightweight ballistic vest 195. So that's definitely a benefit when you're using the lightweight ballistic vest with the Crook Perk deck. Uh, technician, I always use Jack of All Trades. Not going to say any more. Uh, one point I had, I put in Steady Grip for a little extra accuracy. Now, Artful Dodger, this is the dodging part of the Perk deck, even though it doesn't need anything to enhance his dodge as long as you're not playing in death sentence I gotta say that again uh, duck and cover ace gives you a bit more dodge as well as giving you some sprinting speed it's it's really useful I noticed it helps more than when I didn't use it in testing uh, parkour basic it's all it really needed just to get that extra mobility speed being faster is always better especially when you're using a dodge oriented perk deck now, inner pockets aced. I'm taking this to get that concealment number of four on my uh, ballistic vest, my lightweight ballistic vest, actually, because I am running critical build here, so I need to keep my concealment as high as possible so my detection risk will remain as low as possible. Now, second win basic just to get up in this side of the tree. I'm taking optical illusions basic not being targeted is cool or less targeted is better uh, low blow aced I aced this skill because my detection risk is at 22 with the guns modded or not modded the way they are and um, it's gonna allow me to get critical hits and make that really poopy Isma, which I hate saying is poopy Isma because there's no poopy guns in the game if you can build around their, their weakness or their strengths rather either way uh, this helps me take that, what was it, less than 50 damage from the shotgun and make that insignificant because I'm going to get critical hits a third of the shots I'm shooting and then I'm going to set off low blow basic. Once that happens, you're going to be doing massive damage with the shotgun regardless of its damage numbers. On high value target basic, this is a good skill to soften the targets at a distance. If you're not, you know, that's how I'm using this build. Uh, I could simply take this away and give myself a little more defense if I get too close to someone. And I can give myself a little ammo pickup if I want it. And maybe a little more stability. You see what I'm doing? I'm really not going to do that. I'm just showing you what you might be able to do with those points if you so choose. But this is what I did before I made that, well, when I made that video. And that shotgun did its work. Uh, now, for those of you who have DLC, I would recommend doing this instead. Because you're going to have a shotgun that you can keep your detection risk really low with. And I'll show you, I'll show you that one. I actually have one modded. Uh, I take the same Isma, and I pretty much get those DLC mods that come with the gauge spec ops pack I did put triple odd buckshot here uh, the short barrel is from the gauge spec ops pack that's the DLC that makes this shotgun so low in detection no barrel extension a concealment boost the hollow handles the other secret piece or the DLC piece to get your detection really low with this Isma. I'm using a compact laser module. You guys are all aware that we can change the colors and the flashlights and the lasers. I love that. I thought that was really cool. We deserve more, but that's good enough, I guess, for now. It's a nice little bone they threw us. The AK rubber grip. And the wide stock. And that's the modded version that I would use with this very same build. Um, the Judge Shotgun, take, like I said, I showed you earlier, use whatever you like. 
this bill is going to allow you to bring some first aid kits to help you out. You can bring a doctor bag, you can bring an ammo bag, whatever you want. That's why I use Jack of All Trades. Lightweight ballistic vest, uh, crook perk deck, and that's that. Now, this is how I used to build myself, but I wanted to prove that that Nomad shotgun could do its job for you. And this perk deck is vicious. I would recommend doing a few other tweaks to it. Maybe skin it back some more and try it in death sentence. I did, and it was more successful than all my other builds, but it's still death wish is better for me because it seems that sentence is unfair with the distance relation it's still way off a uh, lowly shield can shoot you two or three times from way down the map and take all of your health and you you can't even see him i can't even see him you know i have a big screen tv and i still can't see him so i think that's the only reason why i don't like that sentence really but aside from that i hope the build was useful and I hope you guys and ladies uh, have fun. Take care, be well, and good games, everyone.